Today, we're gonna turn our magic mirror into a YouTube subscriber counter. What's up guys, welcome back. As always, if you like this content and you wanna see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, I wanted to show you a YouTube module that I created for my magic mirror. Anybody who creates content on YouTube or Instagram is probably pretty involved in what their subscriber count is. There are a bunch of different ways to check that. You can check apps, web pages. So I thought I would just design a module that would fit really well here on my magic mirror and that would count your subscribers. Now, I started off doing that by using iFrame. iFrame is a way to embed one page within another, or rather one web page within another. A good way to visualize that is, you know, if you're on Facebook and you see an ad from amazon.com for skis, basically what they're doing is they're embedding the amazon.com ad into your Facebook page using something like iFrame. And that's all I've done here. If you're not familiar with this Magic Mirror, it's basically a Raspberry Pi powered computer. Now, Raspberry Pi is kind of like a credit card sized computer that's hanging on a monitor right here. It, if you don't know what that is, I've made a couple of videos where I you know, made new modules or I showed you the inside of mine and I'll throw them up here on the card. With this web page right here, which is basically what the, the Magic Mirror is, I've just added different widgets. So you can see that I have the weather up here, the, there's a calendar with the time, this Spotify logo down here indicates that if I wanted to play you know, Spotify music, I could play that. And to show you how I've made the YouTube subscriber count, I'll use my Magic Mirror remote, which is basically just a, another module that is a way for me to control the configuration of the Magic Mirror. So I'll reveal, well you can see it's loading at the bottom here, my name, avatar, and uh, subscriber count, 966. Just 34 shy of 1,000. Now, using a website called Ucount, github.io, I was able to get my YouTube subscriber account. Now these are people on GitHub who've created a web page that allows you to input your channel ID and it shows you a live subscriber account. So what I've taken is a live subscriber account from one website and put it up on another website. Um, not unlike this Facebook example that I showed you before, or rather described to you before. So I've taken the ucount.github and embedded that here on my very own web page, and you can see it's coming up here right now. So this refreshes every 60 seconds. My subscriber count doesn't go up quite that fast, so 60 seconds is more than enough. In order to make this actually work, if you go to the website and you put in your channel ID, they give you a lot of statistics and the page looks much, much nicer than it does right here. But in order to get this particular module to fit on my Magic Mirror, I had to mess with the Cascading Style Sheet, or CSS for short, and that's basically just uh, an additional piece of, of coding that you put into a web page to make it look better, right? You can change the color of the fonts or the styles of the fonts. You can cha basically change the entire style of the web page using what they call the Cascading Style Sheet. So I've done that here, and I've kind of shrank the, uh, the initial web page and put it here on the bottom right hand of my Magic Mirror. If you guys like these Magic Mirror videos, I would love to hear different modules you have. I'd love to see your builds. Also, if you have any suggestions for like great modules that you can put up here that you think would be very helpful that I can put in my next video, don't forget to comment below. As always, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week.